viewers, welcome to another cookery show from Pikana Power. I'm Mary Moje here and I'm really glad that you're watching. Today we are going to use the electric pressure cooker which we will use to prepare the berry because most of the time I'm being asked, this pressure cooker, are you sure it can make you then? And I'm like, that's the best thing it can do. Heavy foods are the best things to cook with the pressure cooker because they reduce the cooking time by like a third, which you will see for yourself. So let me introduce the pressure cooker. The pressure cooker is composed of three major parts. There is the actual sufuria, which is uh, the pot that you cook in, which can take up to six liters of food. Uh, probably it would be easier to say it can take like three kgs of meat chopped up so it is quite a big pot we have the cooker itself which has the cooking element at the bottom and a very heavy insulated uh, body so that we can retain all the heat that is generated in here we have the lid which has the main feature as the rubber which retains the pressure inside there so once the pressure builds it is not released we have the release valve here which is a weighted uh, valve so that it will keep the pressure in it has two positions the closed position and the open of the vent we also have the pin which will tell you when the pressure cooker is safe to open and when it is not safe when the pressure pin is up you should not open the pressure cooker even if you try to open it won't open anyway when it is in a collapsed position is when you are able to open the pressure cooker here we have the ingredients that i will be using today i have beans here which are soaked yellow beans and uh, it is always wise to soak your cereals if they are dry so that it further reduces the cooking time this is three cups beans, two cups uh, shelled maize. But really, it is up to you. There are people who prefer to have more maize than uh, beans or vice versa. I have a tablespoon each of red and yellow homo for flavor, for color. One large onion, finely chopped. A tablespoon of garlic, chopped. A tablespoon of ginger also chopped. I have uh, a tablespoon of dania stalks which normally people throw away but believe it or not they add flavor. The stalks, the leaves of the same quantity is what I've chopped here which I'll use for garnish. I'll put in some chili which is also optional. I'll do a seasoning with our reiko. I have some ghee here which also gives it some good flavor to fry with to saute and I have half a cup of cream cooking cream and two cups of stock which are made from a beef stock cube so we'll go straight away into the cooking um, I have an energy meter here I will use to measure the amount of power that we are going to use before we switch on our, our cooker, I will place in the ghee. When you're cooking with the EPC, please use uh, a wooden spoon or a silicone spatula so that you do not um, scratch the, the edges of your pot which will remove the non-stick cover and sometimes you may use this to bake a cake yes bake a cake so you don't want it stuck on the sides so now we'll connect our energy meter so we are connecting our energy meter and there it is and you can see everything is at zero zero so once we start cooking eventually we'll look at this middle part here which shows the a number of units that we'll have used to cook our githeri draw attention to the menu we will select the menu option for sauteing which is a uh, program number five 
which will give us a few moments to fry our onions and saute our food before we cover it and pressurize it for cooking. So there we have 30 minutes to be able to fry our food and finally uh, cover up. So our oil has heated up and I'll put in the onion. Together with the ginger, fresh crushed ginger and the garlic to fry for a few moments to bring out the flavor. As I'm trying to reduce my cooking time as much as possible, I will cover uh, my pot with a fitting lid so that uh, it encourages faster cooking as we wait for a few minutes. Here my tomatoes, I've mixed them together with the courgettes and I have blended them so that they make the sauce thicker and also I hate seeing the tails in my food so that hence the blending so that's why it looks like that it is courgettes which are blended you can slice them if you want in circles or whatever you want but I prefer to blend them together the tomatoes so that it thickens the sauce cooking even in this manner that I am doing covering it with this other pot and using this pot is still faster than cooking in an ordinary sufuria because of the insulation so my onions have uh, browned nicely and they are very aromatic so I'll put in my pojo the dania stocks with the tomatoes the chili flakes which are optional are put in a, a teaspoon a level teaspoon you can also put just ordinary chili the fresh chili Mix in the beans and the maize. Remember the ratio is your choice. There are those who prefer more beans to, to maize. Now we'll add in the stock. And in the stock, I'll put in a tablespoon of Royco and mix it. I prefer to mix it into the sauce. If you do not, if you have other stock, maybe you had boiled some bones, you can also use that stock to add to your githeri. It all adds flavors. Also, add in your potatoes carrots if you prefer the liquid should just like cover the beans and i'll add in my cream which will thicken the sauce further remember the pressure cooker no liquid is lost so if you put too much it will be very watery because like the beans are already uh, soaked so they are at their at their, their largest so they are not going to grow anymore but if you have not soaked your beans then you need to put much more liquid so that it gives it room for the beans to expand and they will not sit out of the sauce because if they sit out of the sauce the beans will crack so we'll now cover our pot with the pressure lid make sure the vent is in a closed position then we'll go to our menu uh, we still had 21 minutes to saute but i can change that so we'll cancel and go back to menu and select uh, beans option which is number nine 
the program for beans is number nine which should be sufficient to cook our githeri however if you prefer you can also do the manual setting which let's say that is 30 minutes but we would require to put more because the beans will require more cooking so we'll do 40 minutes and it blinks so you have two options you can either select a menu which is already pre-programmed or you can go to the manual setting for yourself and if you have not soaked the beans you make sure that you do at least 50 to 55 minutes you can see that there's some steam coming from uh, this pressure vent meaning that the pressure is building up well and now it is about to seal the vent this pressure is harmless it is safe the pressure cooker on the outside remains warm so it is still sa it's safe to touch those are some of the safety features the lid you can see it is well insulated and my pin should be coming up anytime now and seal the vent so that the pressure cooker you can see it is playing around it wants to come up the pressure is trying to push it up and once it seals this steam will no longer be visible and the pressure cooking will begin in earnest so here it shows that uh, the countdown is gone and we have now gone to the keep warm menu so it shows here zero hours and as it progresses after one hour it will show one hour two hours three hours and so forth and it will keep your food warm up to eight hours or so actually piping hot now here we have a pin has uh, is still up despite the cooking has finished so if you leave it like this on its own it will be pressurized naturally in about 10 minutes or so but if you're in a hurry for example you can release the pressure yourself just turn the vent to the left so this will just take a few seconds and the pin will drop so now you can see most of the pressure has gone the steam has reduced a lot so the pin should be able to drop any minute now and there drops our pin so our pressure valve shows it is safe to open so now I open my pressure cooker and take a look at uh, the githeri which looks very inviting with nice thick sauce just enough and we will also go to the meter now to see how much power we have consumed I can see for those 40 minutes that we have been cooking actually it is one hour and and eight seconds that we have been cooking seven shillings and 73 cents to cook our githeri and it has taken us one hour to cook that means the time of sauteing plus the time of cooking setting up the pressure is one hour and the cost is seven shillings and seven twenty eight cents so i have uh, served our githeri in a bowl and i will put my garnish of the dania leaves just to give it some color you can also mix it in totally at the end you don't need to cook the dania leaves and there is our dish for today githeri with cream looks very inviting and of course you can use any type of beans that you wish to use there comes the end of our show today and I hope you'll be baking in there in your house and using the EPC is only seven shillings if you were to use maca it would definitely cost you more than a borogoro which is a hundred shillings so electricity is much cheaper enjoy <laughs>